guys. Long time no see. Sorry I've been away. I've been so busy with packing for London and coursework. Lots of coursework. Okay, so today's makeup look is a request and it's 1950s makeup. I was going to do a Marilyn Monroe look, but I don't really think we can channel Marilyn Monroe without a blonde wig or blonde hair, which I don't have. So I'm going to try and get hold of a blonde wig at a later date. So this is just going to be your basic 1950s makeup. I'm going to try and make it as accurate as possible, but there's like a load of confusing information on the internet so I'm sorry if something's not oh my god he's ringing me what was I saying oh yeah there's a load of really confusing information on the internet about 1950s looks and some were saying one thing other sites were saying another thing so I'm just gonna do it as best I can sorry about my hair as well I did try and do it in like a 1950s hairstyle and it was a disaster so now you have frizz complete with this strange bow thing that's not doing what I want it to but we're gonna try and keep that off camera let's crack on anyway sorry wittering I'm going to start by using this it's Astral's original all over moisturizer this was originally launched in the 1950s so I thought it seemed quite fitting to use now it's quite a nice cream actually lovely and thick sorry if it starts getting dark I'll put the other lights on but I'm filming this quite late I'm using my foundation brush with that moisturizer and this is just gonna um, basically stop it from later soaking in our foundation. This is a really inexpensive moisturiser and it's really good. Okay, I decided to put my lights on because it was getting dark, as you can probably tell, and I had to go and answer a phone call. I'm going to start with the skin. Um, normally I start with the eyes, but skin it is today. In the 1950s, I tended to use more matte foundations. I'm using this. Not my colour at all, so sorry about that. It's Maybelline's Dream Matte Mousse in Ivory. I'm using that foundation brush I used earlier. So just apply that all over your face. You want a foundation with a decent coverage. What they used to use was something called Pancake and that was basically a matte foundation that had a really full coverage. It wasn't at all about letting your own skin shine through in those days I'm afraid. Um, I prefer for looks like this to start with less foundation and then build it up as it's quite easy to achieve a cakey effect with this I find. For some reason I look really quite scary today. I don't know why. I mean obviously I always look quite scary but looking at me now, awful. This foundation's really quite matte but as you can see I've got a bit of a shine that's probably because of the amount of face cream I had underneath. I'm going to take a big fluffy powder brush. So take a powder, I'm going to use this one by the Cura and I'm just going to apply this all over my face. Why do I always forget to do concealer? We're going to pretend I haven't put powder under my eyes, even though I have, obviously. Right, so I'm taking some concealer. I'm going to get rid of these bad boys. I'm also going to pop concealer, obviously where I have blemishes, but they tended to favour the flawless complexion. Now, I've got quite a few moles, beauty marks, whatever you want to call them. So I'm just going to put a little bit of concealer on them. Okay, and then you just want to powder over all your concealer. There's obviously some bits that I just can't cover. As much as I love that like your concealer, the coverage for things like that is not brilliant. Now I'm going to go on to the eyes. Okay, so please ignore the dry skin in this area. Powder makes it really obvious. I'm going to start by taking a neutral matte colour, such as this one, which is Brulee. And I'm going to take that all over the eyelid and right up to the brow bone. Then going to take a slightly darker colour. I'm going to use the same palette just because it's all here and I'm going to use this one. It's Max Charcoal Brown. Just going to use the same brush to apply. This is a MAC 275. I just want that colour in the crease. And I'm taking my blending brush and I'm going to just blend that colour. I'm going to take some of this colour here, which is Max Vanilla, as a highlight colour. I'm going to take some of this, it's Clinique's Gel Eyeliner. Traditionally, they sort of use liquid, but I'd rather use this, just because I'm slightly better with it. And you're just going to want to line along your upper lash line. You just want a basic shape like this. Then what you're going to want to do is follow your lower lash line, and just go up, really, in a flip. So just mark out the angle you want the flick first, then you can work on connecting it. So I've got that sort of flick going on at the minute, I'm going to do the other eye and then see how even they are. So you want to do your eyeliner as best you can, mine is not 100% perfect, in fact there's a little bit there, it's got a dip in it that's really getting on my nerves. It's just defeating me tonight, I just literally can't do it. I'm going to curl my lashes next. I haven't used this because I can't find my normal one and it doesn't work at all actually. I'm going to use Maybelline Lash Stiletto Mascara. I'm not going to apply false eyelashes, you can but I'm not going out after so I'm not going to waste a pair of falsies. 
So this is roughly what the eyes are. It's basically like sort of a pin-up eye. It looks a lot better from the distance than it does up close. It's obviously one of those days when nothing wants to behave. I don't know why I'm putting more powder on. Now I'm going to apply a little bit of blush. I'm going to use this e.l.f. one. It's one of their mineral blushes. The colour of this is rose. Sorry if it suddenly looks a bit lighter. I've switched my overhead light on. I'm just going to take a powder brush of sorts. Get off excess as this really is bright and it doesn't always blend the best. Then I'm just going to pop that over the top of my cheekbone. Again you want to be using blushes with not much shimmer so you want to keep them pretty matte. Then I'm going to do a little bit of contour using Max Harmony. I'm using an A1 slanted blush brush. You really want this in the hollow of your cheek just to slim down the face. I'm going to give them a quick brush through. 1950s eyebrows were quite neat and they also had a really nice arch in them. Taking a little bit of MAC Spiked, I'm going to first start by sort of sketching the shape out I want. So 1950s eyebrows were pretty thick, normally quite dark and they had a sharp arch here so I've done that on that one as you can probably see. It looks quite scary doesn't it? I've got quite thick eyebrows anyway. Okay, so I've done the brows. As you can see, they're pretty damn thick. And then the last thing we're going to do is the 1950s style red lip. I'm going to take a lip liner first. This is a NYX one in hot red. Fill in your lips and then over the top, I'm going to use... What am I going to use? A1 Smooth Velvet Lip Colour. This is Sassy. It's a matte red. It smells really nice, like vanilla. Technically... Um, if you want a sharper lip, you should use a brush, but I'm feeling quite lazy. Okay, so here's the finished look. Hope you guys like it. It was a little bit rushed towards the end, but that's because I got really frustrated doing the flicks, which just wouldn't go right. But I've got to admit, I do quite like this look. To make it a bit more modern, you could use a slightly dewier foundation. Um, obviously, the eyebrows are quite harsh. In a weird sort of way, I quite like them. Um, you could add lip gloss. Hopefully, you think this is good. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.